Alright, I'm going to attempt to show you some interesting stuff with uh, the shape layer just completely off the top of my head. Um, to start off, we're going to use the process generate shapes processor. Now, as you can imagine, this generates shapes for our canvas. Um, you can increase the count, so sort of screw things around with that. You can change the max radius. You can turn it on and off the random size. You can change the randomness, um, just which tells you how it should be distributed and stuff like that. You can change the shape. You have squares and X's and stars. Stars are pretty fun. I'm going to turn this down, turn off the random size, and the next thing I'm going to do, actually I'm going to bring this down even more. And now I'm going to do shape, process, arrange shapes in a circle. And so this is fun. So now you can have, um, I don't know, the 4th of July already passed, so I'm going to just do that. And you get some nice little, um, I don't know, patriotic, stars or something. Oh, I guess we should have 50 in there. Um, whatever. Um, so that's that's some interesting stuff you can do. Um, I'm going to undo the arrange shapes in a circle and I'm going to change this back to a circle. Increase the count and turn back on random size. Um, now the fun thing you can do is shape process. Um, so we've got arrange shapes in a circle, which is fun, but we've also got, here yeah, I'm going to move this to the side, so this will be more obvious shape process push shapes from a circle. Um, as you can imagine, this is a little guy you can just stick on the canvas and it'll push things around. Um, I'm going to take this off. And that's fun. And uh, uh, you know, of course change the radius or whatever. And we can also shape process uh, randomize all the colors. Hey, it's an Apple commercial now. Let's uh, put a whole bunch more shapes on there. This is fun. Whatever. Uh, what else could be fun? Take all these off. Shape. Process. Oh, oh, here we go. This one, this will be interesting. Uh, we're going to change the background. Oops, I hope to have that selected. Don't try this at home. Bam, there we go. Alright. Shape. Process. Generate shapes. And, oops, we're going to change this fill color to white. And we're going to do shape. Process. Uh, arrange shapes on a spiral. And turn the count way up. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to turn the max radius down. So it's almost like a spiral galaxy, only it isn't. But wait. Shape process. Uh, what do you call it? Scatter shape. This will sort of push shapes around from where they are. And now we have our own little, um, I guess, Andromeda galaxy or something like that. Let's, Push the count way up. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Then at the end, you can just apply it, and they all become completely editable. Um, they are not editable while the processor is in action, because that would just be very, 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 very complicated.